Hey everyone, how you doing? Julian here with Virtu Instruments. I'm going to show you the different MIDI strumming patterns that we just created for acoustics. You have your 3-4 count, your 6-8 count, and your 4-4 four, four count. And if you go here and you open up one of the folders, you'll notice you have the actual MIDI file, and then proceeding after it is the MP3 representation of that. You'll notice that there. Usually uh, one to two bars. I'll show you one of these. Of course, there's also swing. Very popular strumming pattern there. If you look up the 4-4, four, four, there's a lot of 4-4 four, four strumming patterns that we've created. Now using these within acoustics is very easy. Just open up an instrument track in your DAW, load contact, and then load any patch you want from acoustics within contact. And go over here and choose a particular MIDI file. Let's just choose this for now. Just drag the MIDI file straight into your uh, instrument track. You can create any different tempo. Let's start with 90 and play back. Now I'll just kind of loop this so that you can see what's happening here. So you see the chord right here in the piano editor. You move up, you see the strumming key switches. You see that represented here on the GUI. You have the strumming key switches here and then the chord being triggered right there. Every single MIDI file actually triggers E major. And uh, let's say you kind of want to create a part, you know, a different type of progression. So let's uh, open up maybe another, we'll drag in a different key switch, or sorry, different MIDI file. And we'll open that up and go to the chords here. You can go ahead and just within your piano editor or any kind of MIDI editor in your DAW, just move these different chords around to create whatever chord you want. So we'll do E to A. And we'll go over here and listen to what that sounds like. Now it's really easy to kind of just, you know, create a progression, choose any kind of strumming pattern you want, and create, you know, something very realistic. Now, I do want to mention that when we created these files, they were all quantized. And going in, uh, we want to kind of humanize them a little bit with an acoustics. And it's very easy. We actually built in these quick presets. If you go into advanced setup, quick presets, click on realism high, and then open this up again and click on humanize high. Now you have kind of the settings that have kind of been altered here in the back end. So when you press play again on your MIDI tracks, It's a little bit more of a, a human performance. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Please go to vertu.com for any more information on acoustics.